The Gospel according to Mark. It's one of the first accounts of the life of Jesus, and our earliest historical traditions link this book to a Christian scribe named Mark, or John Mark. He was a co-worker with Paul and a close partner with Peter. And in fact, an ancient church historian named Papias, he recalls that Mark had collected all of the eyewitness accounts and memories of Peter and then shaped them into this account. But Mark didn't just randomly throw the pieces together. He's carefully designed the story of Jesus. In the first line of the book, Mark makes this claim about Jesus. It's the beginning of the good news about Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. Now what's interesting is that this is the only time Mark is going to tell you what he thinks. For the rest of the book, he's going to influence you by simply putting Jesus' actions and words in front of you and showing you how other people react to him. Now Mark's designed the story of Jesus as a drama with three acts. The first one set in Galilee, the third one is set in Jerusalem, and the second act shows Jesus on the way from one place to the other. And each of the acts focuses on repeated theme. So in act one, everybody's blown away by Jesus and they're wondering, who is this Jesus? In act two, it's the disciples who are struggling to understand what it means for Jesus to be the Messiah. And then in act three, we watch the surprising paradox of how Jesus becomes the Messianic King. Let's just dive in and you'll see how it unfolds. After the opening line, Mark begins with a quotation from the ancient prophets Isaiah and Malachi, who said that God would send a messenger to Israel to prepare them for when God would show up himself to rescue his people and become their king. And Mark introduces John, the Baptist, as that messenger. And then right when you expect God to show up personally, Mark introduces Jesus. And as he comes onto the scene, the heavens open, God's spirit descends on Jesus, and God says, you are my beloved son. After this, Mark places in front of us a summary of Jesus' core message. He went about Galilee announcing the good news that God's kingdom has come near. Jesus is carrying forward the story from the Old Testament scriptures about God's rescue operation for his world. Through Jesus, God is restoring his reign over the world by confronting and defeating evil and its hold on people's lives, and then by inviting them to live under his reign by following Jesus.